Hi there, Simon Wolf. Hey, uh, I just thought I'd let you know a little bit about the uh, photography by Wolf history. So th the business started in 1934 with Spencer Digby. Uh, a purpose-built um, best practice studio was built in Lambton Quay in the Prudential buildings. And uh, Spencer Digby, uh, from 1934 to the late 1950s, um, mentored a whole lot of um, younger photographers that then went out to make their presence felt, um, including my father, Ron and Wolf. Um, so Ron and my mother, Inga, um, purchased the studio um, in 1960, and uh, from there um, we expanded into um, other areas rather than just um, um, weddings and, and um, portraits and a few events and a little bit of commercial work, uh, we expanded out into um, fine art photography, uh, more on the event side, the major events, conferences, events, and uh, we, we also did um, a lot of framing, restoration um, and copy work. Um, the, the studio expanded from uh, five or six people in, in um, 1960 um, through to uh, at a maximum in 1988 um, to about 25. So it became a, a, a big operation and uh, at one stage we were one of Kodak's um, five largest clients in Australasia. And uh, yeah, my, my father and, and mother, um, my father was the creative and my mother was the business. And, uh, uh, and although my, in saying that they both um, crossed over a fair bit, Dad was really good with the um, marketing and promotional sort of side, and my mother was actually a very talented photographer as well, um, completing some um, major assignments, including including weddings. In fact, um, um, Prime Minister Jim Bolger, when when he um, was Prime Minister said that um, my mother's photos were better than my father's and mine. <laughs> so, you know, um, mum, mum was talented in, in, in that area. Um, 1987, and um, the share market crashed, and unfortunately, my father passed away in a helicopter accident along with Peter Button and Dion Savage. Um, some of you may, um, some of you viewers may um, remember in Wellington. Um, on the 20th of November 1987, the power went off for six hours. Um, Dad's um, photographic assignment had been um, um, transferred into a police mission um, where they um, were tasked with trying to um, um, capture uh, an escaped um, prisoner or identify where the prisoner was for the police who were on the ground. And they hit high tension wires out in, ta in, in um, um, Glenside near near Tawa. Uh, overnight, um, my mother, my sister, and I ended up having to um, uh, ensure that the business remained, that it was successful and viable, and um, that both our well, our staff, our clients, our, our supplier suppliers, and also, most importantly, the bank <laughs> realised that we were were going to move ahead, and they they certainly realised in the next few years that um, we were there to stay. Um, we expanded further, um, we, we, we took on a whole lot of government work, um, including um, most if not all of the VIP work, Royal Tours, which we'd already had a, a, an involvement with going back to 1953, um, but this was more the portraiture and the, the official work um, of Royal Tours, of, official visits, state visits and state occasions. And we were continuing on with um, our portraits, our weddings being core and our commu commercial work. And to this day we still have a number of um, commercial clients that have stuck with us through thick and thin um, way back to the 1960s. So you know it's, it's been um, you know, a, a quite an eventful and progressive time um, since 1987. Um, circa um, 1999 and digital arrived <laughs> and um, we embraced that. We actually had been starting um, um, experimenting with digital photography through scanning um, back in the mid 1990s and when the first cameras came out in, in 1998 we had a play with them and we purchased our first digital camera in, in the year 2000 and uh, 
it was um, exciting and we made lots of mistakes but um, it, it set us apart from other studios in that we embraced it early and um, it's, it's given us a, a lead in to where we are today with our, our digital photography and not only digital photography but you'll see that um, we shoot video also and we do drone photography and we um, do time lapse and the whole whole gamut that used to be just film paper chemistry is, is now a whole multimedia um, audio visual um, digital experience. Um, moving, moving through our, our other lines that we're involved in now that um, we're, we've been excited with and our clients have been excited about too are um, our fine art photography um, which has expanded um, into limited editions and originals. We do a lot of original work where it's like a painting and uh, you know it, it, it isn't replicated in any other way than than an original and uh, you know we've been um, commanding quite um, good pricing for that it's fair and reasonable and it gives value um, in respect of somebody owning an original piece of art uh, we still do our editions um, but they're nothing like the originals we also have expanded into our workshops, seminars, field trips and um, individual or um, group tuitions uh, anywhere from two hours through to um, half days, full days uh, and weekends and um, we, we've, we even expanded into um, um, a four or five day event in the South Island a few years ago pre-COVID that was really successful. Um, down in, around Tianao, Invercargill, that sort of area. Um, we do the weekend um, workshops and field trips regularly right through the country. And, uh, you know, it's exciting. It's really cool. F photography is a medium that's accessible to, to so many different people. Um, all through, uh, from 1960 to now, we, we've had a, a a community charity involvement. We support um, a number of um, areas of our community and also um, some key charities and also some, some emerging charities. Um, kindergartens for instance that we support. Um, our, our big ones are the Children's Hospital and um, Women's Refuge and um, also um, Mary Potter and Wellington Free and of course Life Flight which we really help to to get off the ground after Dad's accident in, in, in 1987 where we put out a, a limited edition of, of work it raised $100,000 and in that time um, that was quite big big money and it helped um, life flights um, become sustainable. Uh, we've had in the last um, year 18 months one of our images has raised $27,000 for a variety of different charities. So. You know that that image of um, Matariki the whale uh, has um, at, the, the whale jumped out in front of the beehive. Some of you may remember our, the visit of Matariki the southern right whale a few years ago, and Matariki just happened to jump out and, and breach in front of the beehive, and I captured it, and um, we've used that to um, raise money for charity, and um, we have a few more left. To, it was only an edition of 12. It's a very, very big print and it's very beautiful and it's a black and white edition. So we do, we do a lot of black and white um, archival photography that is both fine art and, and historical at times. Yeah. So where we are now um, is progressing through and um, yeah, we're actually having a lot of fun. We, we have a lot of fun most of the time and, and that's part of the, the photography by Wolf. Um, Spencer Digby even recipe.